Hey guys, it's Carter. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. We have a very, very exciting video today. We are going to be talking about how I went from making $20 an hour to swing trading full time and making an average of $2,300 every single week. We're going to be breaking down the approach and strategy. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this. If you guys are new to the channel and you're like, who is this random guy on YouTube? My name is Carter. I'm a full time swing trader in the stock market and I have been for over six years. And with that being said, we we do have an amazing school where I teach people how to find these undervalued stocks, my strategies, my approach, everything with swing trading. We got private live streams, we got quizzes, we got lectures, everything. If you want to take swing trading serious, check out our school. You won't regret it. And we're doing a back to school day sale where you guys can get 50% off by using code school. So check it out and guys, let's dive into this. So the first thing that I want to talk about as a swing trader, there's this huge assumption that every time you trade stocks, you're going to make money. I've seen this time and time again, and this is what I want to talk about right off the get before we talk about the strategy is swing trading. You have to treat it like a job. You have to treat it, you know, and invest in the education and, you know, put in those hours of paper trading and really just focus on building your checklist and building a strategy that works well for you. You know, another thing that I want to talk about is have very, very realistic expectations. Don't expect to fund an account with $1,000 and try to make $100 every, every single day. That will never happen. It's very, very hard to do so. What I recommend doing is swinging for base hits, you know, those one, two, 3% returns compounded over the course of a year is going to be what makes up a swing trader. It's not about getting rich quick. It's not about any of that. Any of that stuff you see on TikTok and YouTube, 90% of it's garbage. So let's jump into a strategy that I've used for over six years. I absolutely love it. So let's talk about this play here. This is on ticker symbol BJ. Now BJ wholesale, you guys can see as we look at it, you know, look looking at it, you guys will notice that the stock has this really, really nice upward trend. It's actually gone from lows at $18 all the way up to over $93 a share, which is an astonishing move. Now, as we zoom in here and kind of see what's going on, what do we notice? Well, we notice there's a some lines on the chart you know we have this line down here so to break down if i should buy a position i always go to my handy dandy trading journal my trading journal this is the best trading journal you guys can get i'll put it down down below i literally custom made it for swing trading so check it out it's right on amazon uh but the first thing with with this is the trend for my for my you know experience what what trends are i always picture them like a river you know the stocks like a river it's a lot easier to swim downstream rather than upstream so go in the direction of the stock it'll make it a make it a lot better for you the next thing is support so support is just where we get tendencies of getting buying pressure that's all it is it could be a certain price it could be a certain indicator you know um you guys can see here looking at this we have these two lines here so this blue line is what we call the 90 day moving average line it acts as support it also will act as resistance when the stock falls below it you can actually see it where it hits it and we just get sell off so in an ideal situation you want to buy this stock on one of these moving average lines the blue one is the 90 and the red is the 200. The 200 is just going to act as a harder support, harder resistance. The next thing is going to be the RSI. The RSI, what we look for is anything under 30. So the RSI stands for the relative strength index. This pretty much tracks momentum in the stock to determine if it's going to just continue to sell off um, or, you know, could we get some buying pressure? So historically with most stocks, anything under a 30 is an undervalued point for the stock. So looking back at history, you guys can see the last time I was trading for a 30 was back in this range right here where we had the, it was followed by a really nice move. So I understood that we could get some good buying pressure. The next thing is going to be earnings. So the earnings here is actually um, tomorrow with this stock here. So this is why we're breaking down the video because we got out of this position and we are up about 4%, which is awesome. So, you know, in order to find um, the earnings, you guys can see it goes right here, 822.24. Uh, uh, so as of right now, they are announcing their earnings tomorrow afternoon. 
So I never trade during earnings. I know some traders do. And you guys can see in the past when they announced earnings, they've gotten buying pressure, but on the flip side, they've also gotten selling pressure. So it's a 50-50 chance of making, you know, making money. In my, in, in my opinion and in my experience, it's not worth the risk. Uh, so don't hold uh, during, during an earnings. It's a recipe for disaster. The next thing is gonna be risk and reward. So with this stock here, let's go ahead and break it down. So looking at it, if we actually go to like the hourly, you can see our entry point a little better. So we entered here near and around this 85 area. Now we set our target price. Actually, we set it a lot higher than than it, what it went to, but it's the target. It's not gonna, you know, not every stock's gonna hit your target. Um, so entering here, keeping our stop loss relatively tight here, we risked about $1 to make about $5 a share, which is really good. You know, in an ideal situation, you want to risk $1 to make, you know, three, $4, given that it's five and it, but it didn't hit five. That's still very, very realistic. More, more or less, it was still three to one at it, you know, where we uh, sold it here. So now you might be saying, Carter, well, how did you enter? So there's several different approaches you guys can take when entering a position. For me, you guys can see this channel trend going down. You guys can see it just hits it and we get sell off. So we actually entered on the breakout of this and the moving average line near and around this 85 area and the stock rallied up to about 80, um, 88 right now, 88, what is it? 88, uh, 70. Um, so it was an absolute fantastic trade here and this trade made a little over 4%. So, you know, the thing about swing trading, especially from me, I'm very, very realistic here. So what that means is, you know, those one, whoa, those one, two, three percent returns compounded over the year, that's going to be what makes up a successful swing trader. And this trade making a little over $2,000 was an easy way to have some great profit. We only risked a couple of dollars to get that. And if you guys want to learn more about how to find these plays, don't forget, check out our school. You guys can use code school for 50% off. It's absolutely fantastic. We got private live streams, quizzes, lectures, all that stuff. So check it out, guys. I'm not going to tell you it's easy or it's an easy way to get rich quick because it's not. Uh, I just I want I wanted to make a course that people actually learned from, and that's what I did. So guys, check it out. You, you will not regret it, and we'll see you guys in there. Hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Like, subscribe, and don't forget, we're going to be going live Friday, Friday at 1 p.m. So I'll see you guys there. We go live every single week um, and maybe even later, but we'll see you guys. Hope you guys all have an amazing day. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, stay happy, stay positive, and we'll see you. Take care.